there are all sorts of defects uh, in existence. Like for example, my CEO receiving a defect uh, voice message from someone saying that, okay, I'm in trouble and all that, yeah. please do something about it. And they convincingly believe that it's really that the person. It's interesting because uh, I was uh, in one of the uh, round tables, one of the CISOs said that right now his biggest uh, attack vector problem is a CEO's voice. Exactly, exactly. Right, so because having the CEO's voice recorded somewhere can be used as a deep fake. Mm. It can, and it, it is being yeah. used it's right being used. now. Yeah. So now the challenge is that, like, how do you kind of, what's the effective defense yeah. against it? Then we realize that, okay, we should not treat it as actually a different type of attack. We just classify this as a phishing attack, hmm. right? So when we classify this as a phishing attack, so the normal control that we deploy against yeah. phishing should be used against defake as well. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, like, so what we tell people is that any ask from any leadership mm -hmm. will always come through proper channels. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be an emergency ever. 